Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary. Now that Thanksgiving is officially behind us, I wanted to share today some stocking stuffer ideas for the whole family. So this is going to be what I got my husband and my four children for their stockings. This year my kids will be nine, six, four, and 18 months just to give you an idea of the age range and the types of items that we will be putting in their stockings but let me start first with my husband i feel like guys can be really hard to find things for so with guys you can never go wrong with food items and it is christmas time so i love to put some treats in his stocking this hershey's cookies and cream is his absolute favorite so he always gets one or two of those a year he also loves these gummy bears these are his favorite brand we've loved them since high school so i always get those as well i love putting these candy canes in their stockings just because they're cute and they kind of hang out of the top of it so he got twix and then i found this which i just thought was adorable at a store called five below and they have tons of novelty candy that can be all different themes and just really funny, unique ideas. So this is just a little metal tin that looks like a Game Boy, but there's little candies inside. And he definitely was a child of the 80s and 90s and had a Game Boy. So it's just kind of a cute little thing. And he can even save the tin and put things in it if he wanted to. Gum is also a great idea. He likes these ice cube shaped ones. So I always think that is a good thing to put in. Then I did grab him a razor. I thought this one was cool because it is a bamboo handle and he doesn't shave every single day. So this does only have three blades and one handle. So it's not gonna last, if you shave every day, it's not gonna last very long, but he doesn't shave daily. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then I also got him this hair product by Cremo. It's sculpting clay and it's high hold and a matte finish. It's kind of like a, a sculpting paste for his hair. And then two final things. I found this spice rub called Fire and Smoke and it's called the Shake Tasty All Purpose Blend. He doesn't cook a ton, but whenever he does, he's always thinking of like unique ingredients and different things to add in. So I thought I'd get that for him. And then lastly, some beef jerky. Again, can't go wrong with smoked meats for a guy. All right, so moving on to my girls, who my older two, a nine and six year old, a lot of their items are very similar, so I don't have to show you exactly both of them, but they did both get one of these candy canes. I also found these chocolate rocks at that same Five Below store, and they're just so cool that they look like rocks, but it's just chocolate. So all three kids also got this. All three also got this set of gel crayons. You can see they're actually on clearance at Walmart for only $3. So I got one for each of them. All the kids also got rolls of duct tape, which if you know, you know, if you have young kids, duct tape is like gold in your house because they can do so many things with duct tape. It holds up so much better than scotch tape and they just can be so creative and build so many wonderful things. I found these at Five Below. They're called Pick Me Pops. They're just little like donut shaped little toys, kind of like those surprise things where you never quite know what you're gonna get. So just a cute little novelty thing. And I just think anything that's donut shaped or donut themed is adorable. All the kids got new electric toothbrushes as well. So these were for the girls. So you can see I try to stick with similar items. So either they get the same thing or if it's a category, I'll try to find two things that are similar. So with these, they're both lip glosses or chapsticks. And this one is like a little watch and you can change the little heads on it. And then I just found a little set of the EOS lip gloss in strawberry. I just love getting candies or treats that are just unique and things that they really never see or never get a chance to try because you know, treats are seemingly everywhere these days, everywhere they go, there's always something. So for Christmas, I try to mix it up and get something maybe they haven't seen before. And then lastly, I found these cute little socks also at that five below. So these I thought were nice because they're kind of just wintry. They don't have to just be for Christmas and they can wear them all throughout the winter as well. 
Okay, so these are actually going to be for all three kids as well. These are just bath bombs and it's a set of 10. So I will just put three in each of their stockings and then save the last one and just stick it in our, our linen closet and pull it out whenever. So that was the girls. So my four year old, you know, very much the same. He got the rock candy and the Reese's Pieces. For his like novelty candy, I found these Krabby Patties, little like SpongeBob candies. He got the gel crayons, which are actually really cool. If you've never tried these, they, it's sort of like in between a crayon and a marker in a way. It's a little more vibrant than a regular crayon. They're pretty cool. He got a new toothbrush. I did get him the candy cane flavored chapstick. And then just a couple novelty toys for him. I got a little Ninja Turtle yo-yo. I don't know if he's ever tried a yo-yo, so we'll see how that goes. And then this little Spidey and his amazing friends. Again, one of those mystery boxes. There could be six different toys in there. You don't know what you're gonna get, and which is so genius on the marketing side of things. Very clever. So that is what's gonna be in his stocking. So these just came in. This is one more item that will be going into their stockings. They are Orbeez, if you've never heard of that. They're like these little balls that expand when you put them in water. I might regret this come January, but we shall see. They have played with them before in the past outside of our home. So I thought that would be fun to put in their stocking. I actually got two of these packs of five. So it's actually pretty heavy. So I was thinking of putting like two of them in each of their stockings than having just some extra, but they're actually pretty heavy. So I might just put one in each of their stockings and then just have the extras on hand to pull out throughout the winter to just have something fun to play with. And then my youngest is 18 months, like I mentioned. So he is getting this little Frida Baby Grow With Me toothbrush set. So there's two different little toddler toothbrushes in there. I found a sippy cup on clearance also at Walmart. And this is a little bit different than anything he has because it has the pop-up straw. So it is kind of summery, but that doesn't make any difference to me. So since he's still pretty young, he, he won't get any candy. Of course, he has tried many things and will probably try plenty this Christmas. But in his stocking, I'm just going to be putting these little PB&J bites from Earth's Best Organic and these little sort of cheddar cheese veggie puffs. And then lastly, I grabbed him a bag of just regular blow up balloons because he absolutely loves balloons. Anytime we go somewhere and there's a balloon at a grocery store, at a party, he loves it. And then when they start to deflate, it's even better because then he can kind of play with it on the floor when he's walking around. So I just thought these are really cute. We can blow them up throughout the winter and just have a fun little toy for him to play with. So those are the stocking stuffers for the family this year. I do like to individually wrap each item in the stocking. I just think it extends the fun of opening presents and that kind of surprise element of what you're gonna find. Just a personal choice. I think it's fun. Wrapping them on Christmas Eve, that's not so fun, but I try to do it earlier in the season so I can really enjoy it and wrap all these tiny little things. If you are in the US, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday with your family. And now we are officially in Christmas season. So thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.